can we determine the actual tension and compression in these truss bridge members using our three uh, equations of static equilibrium? If we can, then we're ready to proceed and solve. But if our bridge is statically indeterminate, that means we can't solve it using these three equations and we're gonna need more advanced methods. So to determine static determinacy, we have to check that the number of unknowns in this bridge that we're solving for is less than or equal to the number of knowns. So what does that mean? Well, where are our unknowns? Where do those come from? Well, every member is an unknown force, right? So how many members do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the unknowns come from the members. And remember, we have seven members in our truss, seven unknown tension and compression values. But they also come from the reaction forces. We have how many unknown reactions? One, two, three. Remember, we have RA, RCY, and RCX. So we got three more unknowns from our three unknown reaction forces. And remember, this has to be less than or equal to the number of knowns. Well, how many knowns do we have? At every joint, when we start analyzing these joints later, we'll be able to check that the sum of the forces in the X is zero and that the sum of the forces in the Y is zero. So because we have two equations at each joint, we have one, two, three, four, five joints. And so two times five gives us 10. Because our left side is less than or equal to our right side, we can say, yes, this bridge is statically determinate and we're able to solve it.